in high definition. This is Central Coast News right now. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Marissa Pendergrass. More police officers are coming to a Central Coast city that's actually under a very tight budget right now. It's a story we first told you about last night, and now we have new information on how that same department is making it happen. Central Coast News reporter Brett Martin spent the day with Hollister's Finest to see the struggles they face every day. Officer Christopher Wells has been with the Hollister Police Department for five years and he said the 60 hour work weeks put him and the rest of their team to the test. When you're short staffed as we are, um, not only do you have your day to day operations, but you also have to conduct your own follow ups. Today I rode with Officer Wells throughout Hollister and saw firsthand welfare checks, narcotics arrests and hit and runs, all something that Wells and the other 20 sworn officers have to deal with on any given day. But on a busy day with only three officers on duty at a time, sometimes it takes teaming up with other agencies to do their civil duties. It's not uncommon at all for us to rely on the sheriff's office to help us out since they're short staffed too um, and vice versa. In July, San Benito County Sheriff's Department laid off six officers and one of those will start with the Hollister PD next week. And Wells and the former police chief David Westrick said more could be coming in the future. Uh, which will be a huge relief not only for us working here but also for the community. The police said the reason they're able to hire these additional officers is because of the way they pinched their pennies for so long and budgeting even when it came down to buying pencils and paper here at the police department. Because of Measure E passing in November and with a tight budget, Hollister plans to hire six more officers if it gets the approval from city council tomorrow night to unfreeze funds. And that's something that Officer Wells said would help out tremendously. The more cop cars are out there, the more visible the police are. The, the fewer crime. Brett Martin and Hollister, your Central Coast News. And we've also been telling you about CHP wanting to hire more patrol officers in the near future. It's something that Officer Wells said he hopes will be a trend for other Central Coast cities.